Hello, my name is Gabriel Somoza. I am a Magento solution architect, and sometimes I get hands-on with code. And today I want to show you something I found out that was really useful for me. So I have a module that needs uh, some fixing, and uh, it's a vendor module, so I don't uh, have access to the source code. And um, I just want to apply these changes on my project so that I can deliver it quickly. I will also submit a request for changes to the vendor itself, but by the time they release them, it could take a while. So uh, what I do is I usually apply patches and I wanted to show you how I do that. There is a module called CWE Agents Composer Patches. That's very useful. Uh, it's also recommended by Magento in their documentation. So you can install that. I configured it to use a patches file, which is right here. And here I can define my patches, right? So um, in this, case I'm talking about this patch uh, which is right here and uh, this patch simply moves this line a few lines lower but how do you create a patch file like this because doing it manually of course um, it's possible but it will take a long time um, I found a way to do it in PHP storm that's actually very very convenient and I wanted to show it to you so let me open this file so I so you can see it oops All right, it's this file and the line moved from here to about here. Um, I made that change directly into the file that was deployed in the vendor folder, but that's not, of course, not going to persist because I'm not versioning the, the vendor folder. So you can right click into the file after you made the changes, then show history. And here you're going to see the list of all the changes made to that file. Now, if you select enough of it, in this case, I made several changes back and forth. You just have to find the one that that makes sense for what you want to do. This this looks good. This diff is exactly what I want to do. I want to move that line down there. And then there's a very convenient button right here called Create Patch. And you click on that, and you can save it directly to a file or copy it to Clipper. You can save it to a file, which is what I did. And this is the result. Uh, now, I think that's really convenient uh, because uh, it automates a little bit the process of creating this patch file. It makes it super easy. You can basically edit the code in the vendor folder. And I uh, thought I might share that with you so that you can do the same. Uh, now, a couple words of you know caution. When you compose or update this module, this patch may not apply anymore properly. So just be careful when you do that. It might not apply or it might, might apply incorrectly depending on what changes the vendor did to the original file. And then, of course, uh, what you could also do is if you're really improving the file and you think this code is um, the real way it's supposed to be, uh, you can sub you can just submit this entire patch also to the vendor themselves so that they can benefit from you know your research or your bug fix. Bug fix. So um, yeah, use Composer patches. It's really cool. See you next time.